Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another played up Halloween update tutorial. Always a mouthful. I'm getting better at condensing it, of course. Now, in today's episode, today's tutorial, if you haven't noticed, we're doing stakes. Now, there are multiple ways to do this, what some consider the stake death star. Uh, I don't know, personally, I don't know why they call it that. <laughs> I don't watch Star Wars. Anyway, this is what I found out to be the most compact and foolproof way honestly of doing this and the thing is though you don't you wouldn't really even need corner grabbers for this but if you have them there they'll be a bit handier um if you have three meat this is just for the main steak by the way but this can be replicated with any of the steaks that are out there except the bone-in steak of course also the thick steaks i would recommend because it takes forever but you'll see as we lay this out, we're using frozen prep stations. So literally, you know, once you start this out, you can start this very basic. My my recommendation is to get yourself frozen prep stations before anything else, if you can, and then work on getting yourself some safety hobs and then getting some grabbers. But I mean, to me, you have your you have your frozen preps is what you need in the beginning because then you can store rare, medium, and well done slash burned steaks here. But without further ado, let's get this going. So we have our first meat bin. Now, again, if you have three meat bins, you'd have one here and you'd have one here. And you, you'll see in a minute why I say you could have three. Now, again, other than two corner grabbers, the other corner grabbers that I use are just, you could be, they could use for straight grabbers. So basically, we're going to come off of this and we're going to go straight to our first hob. But then we also want to branch off to the side. We want to branch off to this side. Because what we want to do is you want to have all three doneness steaks being able to be cooked at the same exact time. Now, you could run a bit of like a linear setup where you have one going into the other one, going into this one over here. But personally, I don't find that good at all because you're going to have backup. Um, and this design, you have, should not have any backup. And I'll explain why in a minute here. So we have our jiggly bins, of course, which you need to dispose of the stakes. Now, if you have the expanded bins, it would also work. Um, it might actually work not better, but because you have to then get rid of it. If you have the composting bin, uh, there is currently no automation to take stuff out of a bin to burn it. If that autom if that autom if that automation, excuse me comes out then i would probably use a composting bin because it'd be quicker than the jiggly bin which takes around eight to ten seconds give or take um to dispose of something but you'll see here once we lay this out more how it's going to keep up perfectly well now you say okay we have three here so what is that going to do to us well let's lay out our frozen preps you kind of see what we're looking here so we're going to have one for well done we're going to have one for medium we're going to have one for rare now you may think well you're going to have them all in order no 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 you want to have you want to have the bur the not burnt ones. You want to have the well done ones in the middle because the well done ones, the safety hops will cook a steak until it's well done and it'll sit there. It won't do anything. So if you have that in the middle, then there's nothing for it to be wasted. There's nothing to throw away. You want to have the opposite ones on the opposite side. Now you may say, okay, well, does it matter which side? No, no it doesn't matter. You could have um, you could have the mediums over here. You could have the rares over there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It doesn't matter which side they go on. Because the idea is a steak comes out of here, it goes on this grabber, it goes here, and when it reaches this desired doneness, which this is the raw, or the, excuse me, the rare stage, I believe, right? The rare stage, this will then go, it'll be grabbed for the small grabber, and it'll be put in here. And then that'll continue for five times until you back up here and you start getting the well done. Now remember, you, the safety hubs don't burn. They will leave at the well done stage. So that's where you need to have a smart grabber pulling the well done off of here. Again, this could be a, a regular straight grabber, doesn't matter. These, there are no corner, there are no smart corner grabbers yet. If there would be, well, then you would just use one of these here, etc. Uh, again, this could be a straight, any straight grabber that any, excuse me, any corner grabber that looks straight in this demo, um, can be replaced by a regular grabber. It's just, I just have these on hand, so it makes sense to, to use those, of course. Now, we're going to do the replicate, the same thing on the other side. And the reason why I'm doing it like this, I find, again, this isn't even using that many materials. You have two corner grabbers, you have three straight grabbers, and you have five, um, you have five, um, excuse me, five, Spark grabbers. Now, again, you could again do this in stages. You could get away with not even having these two grabbers here. Like you could get away with just starting out like this. 
and then when this one reaches the the well done stage you could throw it you could manually put it into a bin this is a very very you know open to design change concept here as far as you know you don't have to have all of this set up to go this way i mean realistically the way you start out is you start off with a regular hob and you just cook all these and you have your frozen preps and then you and you keep advancing and advancing and advancing um even having something like this to start having this always be filled with meat this always be filled with well done and then you can manually take the ones off to put in the different bins or something like that uh you could you could, again you could change up how you want now this is exactly how the setup goes and you may say okay well what happens when everything backs up well it doesn't back up because the the length that the long the, t the time it takes excuse me to cook a well done steak on a safety hob is slower than it takes a jiggly bin to process. So let's just go into practice mode here, and I'll just let, I'm just going to let this run. Now re remind remember here, right that you have the frozen prep stations. The key here with this I think is the frozen preps because at the end of each day you'll want to let your system back completely up to get the, all the steaks in the bins that way is especially if you have a lot of customers that way as soon as the customers come in bam you can be hammering with steak now again you're gonna have a mess here which again this is irrelevant um it doesn't matter if there's messes really because you, you're gonna be working out here this can be tucked up in a corner if you have a spare area like below this map here um there's a, an area down here where you can put the steaks and feed them up through a through a uh, doorway here, etc., etc. So now you see what's happening. It's taking a long time for this to back up. And the thing is, that there's no way you're going to have this amount of steaks backing up here all the time without having customers to serve. Uh, the only way I could think of it is if you have tons, if you have soup and you have tons of customers coming in, you mess with soup. But again, that's another. Now here, jiggly bin number one. And the way this one over here, this one's actually better because this one will go through two. Well, actually, excuse me, they'll both go through two full cycles. They have to get from rare. Or from raw to rare to medium and then back out and see over here already just sway here this one just went in the jiggly bin just watch how long it takes for this to empty compared to the next steak being able to be put in because it should be emptying right about now there you go so this system the way it's set up this will never back up because it takes longer for a steak on a safety hob to get to the well done stage than it takes for a jiggly bin which is roughly 10 seconds to empty and it'll never back up, which again, you could even have the jiggly bin here if you want to. I'm just having space design here. So this is basically a five by five design. Uh, you could tuck these over next to the meat bin with another corner grabber. It doesn't really save any space though. But there you go. And I mean, as soon as you start taking steaks away from here, it's, you know, oh, I can't put this one anywhere else. Let's just dump it in here just for now because I don't have any other place to put it. Uh, you know, as soon as you start taking steaks away from here, you know, Oh, I reset that one by accident. <laughs> That's okay though. Uh, there you go. So as, as long as soon as you start taking stakes away, these ones are, they're not going to be backing up anymore because they can't back up. Uh, and obviously, proof of concept that I showed you before is that this one's backing up because I had two here. But look at that. That one's already working. This is a very very foolproof system. I think the easiest system of any sort of stake design that I've seen where you have nothing that burns and you'll have minimal waste. You're only wasting two stakes per cycle i guess i don't know how you want to say it you're basically wasting two stakes every 10 seconds or less which is pretty good because this will run continuously now if you're looking for something faster like you're going through stakes quicker is you could have three meat bins let's get out of the practice mode just cut this sound off is you you could have three meat bins all lined up here but i mean again at the end of the day like i've been saying is if you had the frozen preps these will be filled by the end of your day. Like you'll you'll want to wait here for your last customer, your last couple customers if they're on dessert, especially. Let these fill up that way. In the beginning of the day, boom, you're hitting them. You got four steaks ready to go at all times. Um, that's pretty pretty much it. I mean, it's a fairly basic. Like I was trying to wrap my head around doing this many different ways. I was using regular hobs, danger hobs, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to make things go quicker. But to me, let's just start this one more time while I finish up the talking here. Is this is pretty quick. You know, the, the way the grabbers work is, is they're a bit kind of iffy. There's no, it's typically the last one you put down, the last corner grabber you put down is the one that's going to pull from first. But again, it doesn't matter. The key is having the, the well done stakes in the middle because there's, we, there'll be no waste from them because the, the safety hob will not burn a well done stake. It'll sit there and wait. But I mean, we're pumping these out pretty much at the, not quite the same rate. 
um, because you have obviously the rare ones will be done quicker. But I mean, you're, you're not really having like it, it's. Are you feeding that many customers already? Or maybe what twenty seconds into the run, something like that. And again, I'll reiterate for the last time: you have frozen prep stations. These will all be filled by the end of the day. And then just by the time you end up taking, let's just cut this. By the end, by the time you take these four, or well, depending on what type of customers what they're ordering, depend, by the time you take four of these out of here, no matter how quick you're gonna, you're not gonna serve four people in twenty seconds. You're you're not gonna do it in the beginning of the game unless you're calling everybody and you're rushing. But typically, even if you call people right away, it takes minimum ten seconds for a customer that's walking from the edge of the map to walk in and sit down. I'd say minimum ten seconds. And then you get to take their order and then get a plate, et cetera, et cetera. So there's, there's no way you're going to be out, out serving this unless you're going very, very, very fast or you have display stands. Now, if you have display stands enough that it actually matters, you would just, you would just basically eliminate having the waste and you would just change all these to well done stakes. Like it's very, very easy. You could add, you could add prep stations onto this. You could add teleporters onto this, which, uh, sneak peek will be coming up in a later episode having teleporters work off of this going to your bins right where your tables are etc cetera, etc cetera. because once this is set up you won't have to touch this again now i will leave you with this little bit of information is this is this will work for your regular stakes your thin cut and your thick cut thick cuts will be a lot harder because it takes such a longer time this will not work for bone in stakes because well excuse me this will work for bone in stakes because you take the bone out after they eat it. I'm thinking of the fish. So yes, this will actually work for all four all four steaks. Now, is it feasible to have four of these exact setups? No, it's not. But you could at least supplement it a little bit by using prep stations, safety hobs, a couple uh, trick trickery with the grabbers. And there you go. I know this video went a little bit long, but I felt I needed to explain myself a couple times because I know this is one of those things stake is how do you automate how do you automate this is how i would automate it could you do this with one safety hob no well no you couldn't because you you have to have because with if you have do this with one safety hob you're going to have four you have one input and three outputs and you need an extra output so it won't work unless you're having trickery with how you're pulling with with grabbers but to me this is the easiest cheapest way to do this to where you have self-sufficient stake automation thank you guys so much for joining me i know this went a little bit long Typical tutorials are about six minutes, but I wanted to, to really delve into why things are done the way I did it. Hopefully this helps you guys very much. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving me a like and a comment, and as well as subscribing to the channel if you are a new supporter. And if you're existing, thank you once again so much for sticking around. We're getting so close to our next goal. By the time you re watch this, we might have already hit our 5,000 sub goal. If not, please consider leaving me a subscribe. It would really, really help out my channel and really show off the support you guys have for me. So thank you very much. And I'll catch you guys in the next Halloween played up. I got I to gotta figure out the right way to say it. <laughs> Take you guys in the next played up Halloween update food tutorial guide. Take care now.